Hello there. Hello there. I hope you're doing well. I notice you've heard me. And, uh, with that being said, hello, all you lovely people of YouTube. This is Ripper 4. And I am doing a very late night episode of Rip's Talk Show. As you can hear with the lack of talking, it is just me for this episode. So I want to ask you all, I hope you're all having a fantastic night, but when you're eventually seeing this, or I guess you could say listening to this, I hope you're all having a fantastic morning, or maybe you're listening to this at night, so I hope having a fantastic night. With that being said, we're just going to talk about some random things, some small things, because there's not much going on right now. Currently, for you know, visual li listeners, you'll be watching me play Halo Infinite in the background. Oh, sorry. Halo MCC in the background. This is just for me to walk around, just to give you visual listeners something to see. But for you nice audio listeners, don't worry. It's nice, calm, and smooth. But with that under the way, let's get started. So, let's talk about a few things. Because... Who doesn't enjoy talking about things? For example, I think we should, or I say we, I think I should talk to you about some things I've been getting up to in my spare time. For example, as of recent, I've decided to get back into listening to music. Because, you know, who doesn't enjoy listening to music? The music I've been listening to, if you're curious, is currently Kendrick Lamar. I've been listening to his whole dis uh, dis dis I don't know how to pronounce that word. Point is, I've been listening to all his music, discography. That's the word. It slipped my mind, slipped my tongue even. But I've been listening to his whole discography, mostly "Damn" and "Miss Morale and the Big Steppers," "Good Kid, Mad City." Have yet to listen to The Pump of Butterfly as of recording this, but I'm sure I'll try to listen uh, by next week to let you all know what I think. But to tell you what I think, I've rather enjoyed Damn. I enjoyed all of them, really. I've been listening to them for a few months. I just thought, you know, maybe talk about it, because, you know, why not? It's not something nice to talk to. And, uh, yeah. I will say that I, like I said, I enjoyed it rather well, rather nice, rather good, even. I quite enjoyed Damn. Every single song, I loved it. I loved that album. All the songs. I could tell you my favorite. I think favorite. my favorite from that album would be Fear. Fear was a good album. Um, I just really enjoy the lyrics. It appears as though I forgot to uh, take my phone off of... Um, I forgot to take it off of, uh, you know, noise. It made noise, so, uh, my apologies. We all make mistakes here, but, you know, this wouldn't be a R4 Industries production without one. 
And you might be wondering why I'm talking so quietly. Hi, I'm talking like the way I am. It's late at night, I'm tired. And to be honest with you, I forgot to record this episode entirely until it was too late. You'll still get it at your normal time, either 8 to 9, CST, AM, in the morning. And it will be on a Thursday. Because I will always deliver on those episodes. Because I made a vow to you all. All of you want content, all of you need content, and who else to give you content but from yours truly. And I'm sorry that I haven't been giving you my normal gameplays. Trust me, that will be changing soon. I plan on re-recording Gears of War 3. I plan on recording Dead Space 3. And... I plan on recording another game that I would like to keep secret for now until the first episode is out. But I will tell you that the thumbnail is currently being made. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. I'll have to speak to the thumbnail artist. But I'm giving them all the time they need in order to make it. In order to be the best thumbnail that could possibly come out from it. And if you don't enjoy it, that's okay. Because it's not for you, I guess. Not everything has to be. But if you enjoy it, I'm glad you do. I will more than likely enjoy it. Because when it comes to this person and I, it, we seem to share a creative vision. Which is great. I will say, as of this week, if you are a Halo fan, you might know what I'm about to bring up. Two days ago, as of you hearing this, if you are hearing this when I uploaded it, um, but as of recording this, January 31st, 2024, I played Halo Infinite yesterday because... They added the Mark IV Armor Core, and it was rather spectacular, rather nice. I threw on Mark VI, obviously, on to the Mark IV, and because of now cross-course shoulder pads, that's right, folks, cross-course shoulder pads added to the game, I put on the Mark V shoulder pads. You might say I even made a discount Mark VI, but I digress. It was rather fun. I played a bit of Firefight. I played on the new map. All of it was fun. I'm enjoying this. You know, but I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I love Halo Infinite, but something about it doesn't feel right. It feels like jelly. And who wants to play some jelly? I don't. If I want to play Halo... I'm I'm more than likely going to go for the definitive Halo experience because who doesn't want to go for the MCC where you can play six different Halo games. That's right, folks. You heard me say it right. Six different Halo games. I don't know why I'm saying it like I'm reading an ad. I'm not reading an ad. I just like the game. Everyone should know that Halo, the Master Chief Collection, comes with Halo CE, Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, ODST, Reach, and 4. But you might not consider Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary to be diff two different games. So that's why I said 6. But if you do consider them two different games, which you highly should, by the way, that would be 7 games in 1. Isn't that great? Uh, bang for your buck. Sure, $60, I assume anyway. I haven't, I don't know. But more than likely, it's sixty dollars. But that's really good. Seven games in one for sixty dollars. That's almost. That's a little under ten dollars a game, folks. And you really want to pass up that possibility? I don't think you do. <laughs> MCC is great. It's fun, and I loved what they did with it when they. Start bringing updating it. I assure you that 
at some point for one of my background videos for the podcast or even as its own video that you'll be seeing me play Firefight in ODST. More specifically, a third-person mod that I found. And you might be saying, Rip, we all know you play on Xbox. And if you didn't, well, now you know. But Rip, we all know you play on Xbox. So my question is, how can you play mods? Well, I like to tell you, this game mode, for some odd reason, seems to work with the Xbox. I couldn't tell you why. I don't know why. But it does. And it's rather m remarkable. And I will tell you that I do absolutely plan on playing that for all of you lovely people. And I would like to apologize for not saying my normal intro for this podcast episode but sometimes we forget things it's good that i'm noticing that i did now on last well i say saying it sorry i'm not saying the right things it is good that i am recognizing it instead of just ignoring it so then all of you know but i'm sure most of you don't really care if i say it or not but it doesn't matter at the end of the day. This map is rather nice. I know usually I'm not supposed to talk about my background gameplay, but I've walked around this map a bit. It's rather nice, but I think it's about time that we switch the map. And I will say, I'll start doing this again some more, but I won't announce that I'm switching maps, so that way that doesn't take you out of the moment. But I do want to talk more about Halo Infinite. Um, there was a room in the new map where it was just Halo themed. And I think that is rather phenomenal. I will say that. Rather phenomenal. We all know that. I There's... Two Xboxes, an Xbox 360 and an original Xbox. There was a TV that had Halo come involved on the screen. And I don't mean the Master Chief Collection one. I mean the original come involved menu screen. Isn't that swell? Isn't that lovely? You love to hear it. You love to see it. But I will say... It's fun. It's great. There's Xbox 360 controllers. One was inside of a TV. Rather humorous. A Halo Wars 2 poster in a picture frame of the scene from a scene from the Halo Wars 2 advertisement with Cutter and Atriox in a car dealership. Now isn't that swell? Well, who knows? Maybe you'll enjoy it. Maybe you won't. But I think enough about Halo for now anyway. Because you know, at some point, I'll probably bring it up. I cannot believe what was ha what happened today. Or, it wasn't today. It was actually yesterday. But, I'm talking about it today. Which you'll hear tomorrow. But, f for you, it's today. So, two days ago, I guess, unless you're listening to this in the future, I should just get to the point, instead of talking about time. Apparently, Elon Musk, as some of you may know, was developing a neural chip to put inside people's brains. Apparently, the first one has been cleared and put inside a human mind, and the person is recovering. If any more updates come out from this, I will be sure to cover it in the future. But what I want to say about this is, what news could this truly be? Sure, you can access the internet from your mind. But to that I say, why not just use your phone? Why not? What would be, what would be the reason to... Put a chip inside your mind. What well, it really makes sense, you know? And um, me, who's always 
paranoid and worried, has some mind. <laughs> well, well, for some reason, one of the first things that popped into my head when I heard it was that scene from the SpongeBob movie where all the buckets collapse on everyone's head and they're all suddenly plankton zombies. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen with Elon Musk. But someone could possibly hack it. It's electronic. It's it's electronic. It can be hacked. So what happens if someone hacks all the chips inside everyone's minds? Can they cause a deletion of their memories? Can they cause more damage than that? Could they mind control them? Could they take over their mind? Could they hold them hostage? Steal their information? There's many things. I'm paranoid, so I'm going to think about this. And you might be saying, Rip, how many people would have to put it into their mind to tell you or to convince you that, hey, it's safe to use? And I will say it swift, decisive, and my definitive answer for the rest of time. I will never, and I mean ever, put a chip inside my mind. I respect the people who do. They're braver than I. And I'm sure it's rather useful in, in many instances, but I can't help but look at the risk and think about all those dystopian movies that they make, the sci-fi ones. Even from the cyberpunk trailer or teaser I saw from the TV show where someone pulled a chip out of their head. I don't know if that took away their memories, but I will say something like that genuinely worries me and I think you know that's something that should be questioned it's like is this a good idea not because of well you know not because of the fact that oh maybe people shouldn't do this because it's just wrong biologically but what I think is maybe it shouldn't be done for security reasons how secure are they and are they safe for your mind? That's the question. You know, rather strange debate, I know. And you'll never hear it from me again, I promise, unless the person dies. Then I'll say, well, that's a rather shame. But I will say. Another thing I'd like to cover, something of old, something of old YouTube, only because I it's piqued my interest, and I plan on investigating it further, and I'll see, let you all know how that goes, and that is a YouTube series many years ago, I'd say it ended nine years ago, known as Marble Hornets. That's right. If you've heard me correctly, um, if I said Marble Hornets, many people especially those of older YouTube, know, should, or pro probably just know what Marble Hornets is. But you might be wondering, Rip, what is Marble Hornets? Well, I am glad to tell you about Marble Hornets. Marble Hornets is a Slenderman kind of series. Slenderman doesn't appear much, but it is about him. And he's not called... Slenderman in the series, he's called the Operator. So you might say that he's a smooth operator. Actually, I don't know if you can call him that. I don't know how smooth he is. He does, however, have a smooth face. So I guess you could, theoretically, call him a smooth operator. You know, we do small things, we do fun things. It doesn't really matter. But I will say, I enjoy things. And I also have a question for you. For you. Just think about what is the amount of money you'd have to be paid to live isolated on an island 
for a year. Now, personally, I... It's enough money. I don't know the exact number, but it would have to be enough money for me, my people, and... For me, my people, to be set for generations. Generations. So much money that even after I'm dead for a thousand years, my family is still good and will be good for no, maybe even a million years if my bloodline continues. But if it doesn't, that's fine. It will go out to everybody in the world. No more poverty if everyone has the exact same amount of money. What do you do if everyone is has the same amount of currency? Every single person in the world. That's a question I've never thought about until now. If every single living person on this planet, for some reason, all had the exact same amount of money. And while we're talking a massive sum, take the most expensive. Uh, take the richest person in the world and now everyone has the exact amount of money they have right now what would the world come to what would happen how much would the economy break that's the question I don't know rather strange episode I know I'm asking strange questions, but this is what happens when you let me not sleep. I'm trying my hardest to not talk about Gears of War instead of talking about hypotheticals of what if everyone had the same amount of money? What if you're stranded on an island? What if you put a chip in your brain? How many people would have to do it for you to? My answer has varied. But I will tell you, Gears of War, I've played it so much. Actually, as of the night that I am recording this episode for you right now, I have introduced a few people to Gears of War. They knew about it a little bit from me talking about it with them, because, you know, I like talking about things. <sighs> Sorry, I was drinking a nice sip of water. I highly recommend it. H2O. You can't beat that. Your body's 70% made out of it. So, for all the love of goodness in the world, I would hope it's good. You know, it's funny. We got a lot of things going on here at r for Industries. Many projects in the works. Like I said, we've recently hit 300 subs, and we are currently now at... As of recording this, 308, 308 subs. I'd like to thank every single one of you watching. And if you're not subscribed and you're listening right now, why not? If you're coming back anyway, might as well subscribe. It helps out, and it keeps it lets me know that you're loving what you're seeing. And if you are so kind, please to hit that like button because you know. It really does help out. Um, on a little side note, because I I, 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 do want to make this one a little bit of a shorter one, but there's one more thing I want to talk about before we end off. And yes, I know that we are only at 23, or actually, as of now, 24 minutes. And I'm already talking about ending the episode. Yes, I know. I'm tired, and I thought maybe let's test and see how a shorter episode does for all of you. But I was going to do a little, I guess, vocal review of a product I bought December 30th that officially released on January 1st. Um, most of you may not care, but I'll say it to the ones who do. I bought a Lego set. Now, if you don't want to hear that, that's your cue to leave at this point, because after that, that I will be ending the episode. But for this Lego set, I bought the Lego Star Wars Clone vs. Battle Droid Battle Pack. A lot of battle. Bs, the letter B. Who doesn't like it? B1s, B2, Battle... 
Ah, you're gonna love it. But I think it's a good bang for your buck because currently in the current market of LEGO Star Wars sets, battle packs are twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for something like that. I used to be able to get them for ten dollars, almost five when I was a young la a young child, a young lass. When I was young. They were five dollars. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to get at. What I'm trying to get at is the product. The product. It was good. It is the first phase two shinies that we've gotten since the Micro Fighter Turbo Tank. Isn't that wild? But it's a really good set. I don't care what people say about the helmet holes. The helmet holes are not the issue in my head for Lego Star Wars clones. It is the printed waist capes and certain figures printings the shock trooper i don't have a problem with i love it the b2s are great their molds are phenomenal and they're a lot more stiff which i understand is because of the fact to make them less easy to break and you gotta love it the battle droids are also great the builds are phenomenal but i feel like they should be a bit bigger i don't know I, I I expected something a bit more bang for my buck saying that the set is $30. Now, is it a set I recommend? Yeah. I don't know if it's good for army building. Well, it is, but for that price, oh, I don't know. I can't wait to see all the alternative builds that people make with it. I know it's already been out for a month at this point as you're watching this. But I die grass now i think that's all the time we have or we had we do have more time but like i said i am tired and i do want to go to sleep so i guess it really is all the time we have so i want to say to all you lovely people out there listening or all of you lovely people watching this thank you all so much for watching and let me know what you think of these S short episodes or the episodes where it's just me talking to you one on one or one on however many viewers are currently watching however many views I have which it always grows when you watch by the way but I digress thank you all so much for watching this and I will be talking to you all in the next episode of Rip's Talk Show goodbye everyone